Welcome, everybody. I am so excited to see you on day four of the Healthy for Life Starter Kit. And today, my absolute favorite subject, we are diving into how to eat right for your body type and all the benefits. So I'd like to say congratulations. Woohoo! <laughs> you made it to day four. Yay! All right. Good for you guys. Yes, I have pom-poms. I have stickers. I have all the things. And I'm happy to get started and jump into this amazing PowerPoint all about eating right for your body type. So I am going to share my screen and we will jump in to the PowerPoint and get started. All right. And let's shut this down and open this up. So this is my absolute favorite topic about eating right for your body type. And the thing that made the single most biggest difference in my life was learning how to eat right for my body type. And I never looked back because it was such a huge game changer for my health, my life, my energy, everything changed. And I'm like, wow, this is a no brainer. I'm eating this way for the rest of my life. And I have to tell the whole world how to learn to eat right for their body type too. So I hope you'll help me in spreading the word. I'm still working on making this much more well known in the rest of the world. So here's what we're going to cover today. We're going to talk about the main things that are keeping you from losing the weight you want to. So for those of you that have been watching the other three days of the Healthy for Life Starter Kit, some of the things I'll be, not very many, but a few, I will be kind of giving you a review and going over again. So bear with me if you're saying, well, she already mentioned that on Tuesday or Monday, but I'm sure there are some people that are only watching this webinar because they're really curious about the body type. So that's why I'm gonna repeat just a few of the main key points. We're gonna talk about how to never deprive yourself when you wanna lose weight, all about the body type system, how to attain and even more importantly, maintain your ideal weight, right? Some people say, well, it's easy to get there. The hard thing is to maintain it because we go back into old habits and the pounds can come back on. So myself working with my clients, it's all about teaching you a way of eating that you can easily follow for the rest of your life. So this is for you if perhaps you've never weighed this much before and loneliness, boredom, stress might have you spiraling out of control or grabbing sweets, unhealthy snacks. You might be feeling super discouraged and just you want to fit back into the clothes that you used to be able to wear that don't fit you anymore. Maybe you stop and start diets and you blame yourself when they don't work, when usually it's the diets that are not working, right? It's not about you. So maybe this is you for you if you tried exercising and doing all the things and still the weight doesn't come off. You're busy as hell and you like never can find a full day for meal prep or to work out all the time, like wondering how people ever do that. Maybe you've been struggling forever to lose that last 10 pounds or more and you find it so hard to stop the late night snacking. You may have tried every diet, nothing works. And some of my clients say they're even desperate, you know, because they have tried everything and they really want to drop the pounds and they're kind of feeling at their wits end, like what, what, else, what more can I do? So some of you might sense that emotional eating might be the underlying cause, which is often the case when we get derailed. So today we're going to give yourself and find out why your body has been holding on to the weight. That's one of the things that I do with my clients because there are many reasons why the body might not be releasing the weight. And I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step roadmap. The shifts you need to make, how to cut out unhealthy snacks, and balancing your glands for easy weight loss. So some of the things that might hinder your weight loss just off the bat, uh, stress, a lot of people know that. I've seen that firsthand with some of my clients when our stress levels are up to here and we're like just holding on to all this stress, the body will hold on to weight for protection, you know, unless you 
release that stress and breathe and find ways to release the stress, the body can hold on to weight for protection. Other reasons, uh, congested liver. So many of us, you know, we might live in places where we're breathing in air pollution, where we're exposed to chemicals. You can't really avoid chemicals at all in this day and age. Can be in the materials and the buildings we go to, flame retardants, pesticides and herbicides on our food. There's so many chemicals. And if the liver gets burdened by that, combined with maybe some a fatty diet or alcohol and things like that. It's just up to here overworked and it cannot do what it needs to do to release the fat. So can, decongesting your liver can be key. Digestive system that's not working all right. Hormonal imbalance, things like that can really hinder your weight loss. And that's why I might be biased, but I think that working with a naturopath who can figure out what's going on is going to give you so much more um, ways to learn how to drop the weight, whereas someone else might not know all these different things if they're only looking at your nutrition or your diet and nothing else. So if you're telling yourself, you know, I'm too old, I'm going through menopause, and everyone says it's too hard. Well, sorry, think again. This is my client, 89 years old, right? She came to me in person about six months or more ago. I uh, had a wonderful time. She dropped about 10 pounds. She didn't do my whole program. She just wanted to get her body type plan and started implementing all the changes and uh, yeah, started dropping the pounds. So 89, I've worked with women in their 60s, 70s, any age, you can drop the pounds you want to. So uh, being too old, it's not true at all. Uh, a little bit about me. This is kind of a fun picture. Maybe I should move this over. We are, uh, yeah, the five kids a uh, long time ago and then about 50 years later. So that's me in the middle, I'm the youngest of five. Feel very fortunate to have had a lot of fun with all my siblings. Uh, the eldest is 10 years older than I am and a lot of activities over the years and all the challenges that siblings bring along too, right? The bullying, the teasing, all the things that make us what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So uh, yeah, it was a very active and uh, busy up upbringing. Um, that's me on the left. I think I was 11 or 12. So interesting that even at that age, there was you know an optional thing that we could do of making a project about the human body. And I was fascinated by this. So I did a whole project and... Uh, it was not just in our school, it was like for all the elementary schools and I made it all about the different body systems and each page was a different body system. I was young enough to not really understand exactly how the reproductive system worked. So yeah, but I won a prize that's uh, collecting my prize and uh, so interesting and even at a young age, uh, this was a passion of mine. And then I went through my partying years in the sorority and uh, a lot of alcohol and drinking, a lot of fun. That's a picture up here, I mean, in the middle. But I didn't know at the time, I was really kind of numbing my emotions with alcohol and pot. I had a lot to learn. I had a lot of healing to do. Uh, when, my, when I was young, my dad left and came back 10 times. And like all the pain of that and my abandonment issues causing me to repeat the cycle of choosing the wrong kind of men over and over that would leave me. And I did so much healing and I bring all those tools to my practice as well, because I think the, like I did a lot of searching, a lot of different things to help me overcome all of my challenges. And when we, you know, finally do the learning at the bottom you can't see whoops anyway at the bottom on the right hand side that's me and my love of my life uh skiing at an area north of mount tremblant so life is a learning journey of healing and i bring that into my practice as well all right so we all know that one size fits all never works right if you've uh, been following me for a while i'm all about the body type plan so let's dive in 
This is one of the clients I worked with. Uh, she lived in Ohio. Paula was not moving her body. She wasn't cooking much. And she started going to the gym, enjoying cooking, was able to reduce her diabetic and blood pressure medication. And she said this program saved her life because she was going down the path to an uh, unhealthy lifestyle. So it was wonderful working with her. So number one, what we've been talking about this week is, yes, you can have your carbs and eat them too. Good quality carbs like brown rice, quinoa, potatoes, sweet potatoes. They keep you satisfied a long time. You don't need a whole lot, half a cup. But it really is all about increasing the nutritional density of your food, right? Never ever try to do the overly restrictive diets because they don't work long term, right? You're only setting yourself up for failure. So we invite you to um, continue eating real whole foods and replacing ordinary foods with healthier alternatives. That will really set you up for success. And the, for me, the body type plan, as I said, completely tra transformed my life. And I really feel like even at my age, I am living my best life. These are two girlfriends. We went on a little hike. We'd go for girlfriends weekends away. And it always involves exercise. If it's in the winter, we're going cross country skiing, snowshoeing. Uh, you know, my friends have the same interests that I do. Spirituality is very important. Yoga and exercise, clean, healthy eating and also knowing how to make a really good fire in the fireplace when we're away. So number three, it's all about how you eat and when. So the way the body type plan works is it works with your metabolism. So say you're kind of slow in the morning, takes you a while to get going. That could indicate that your metabolism is also slow in the morning. So a small light breakfast is perfect for you. Lunch could be medium to light and dinner is the main meal of the day as that's when your metabolism is highest and that's when you're going to burn it off most easily. So it goes completely against the old adage, eat breakfast like a king, dinner like a prince, uh, lunch like a dinner, whoops, sorry, <laughs> eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper. If you try to do that, it could be the opposite of what your body needs. So someone else that jumps out of bed full of energy first thing in the morning and they're like 10 on 10 energy, that could mean that their metabolism is higher in the morning and they might need a bigger breakfast with more protein. And some body types need a bigger breakfast and a smaller dinner that works best for them, but everyone is different. So let's dive into the different types. So one more thing to note. When you look at the body types and you're like, oh, you know, you're trying to figure out which one you are looking at the pictures, wait, as I'm going to explain over the next uh, 15, 20 minutes or so, how to determine your body type, because you cannot determine your body type just by shape alone. We look at personality, cravings, ailments that you're most prone to, um, food preferences, Yes, part of it plays where, where you tend to gain weight, also your energy levels. So when I figure out your body type, because people ask me like, how do you figure out a body type? Are there tests? No, there are no tests. But just after doing this for more than 15 years, all the pertinent questions I ask come up with uh, being able to figure out your body type through all the different check boxes. Because there are some people that, you know, say on the right hand side, we have the pear shaped. And some of them, you might really see that the lower hips are bigger on the body, but others can be more tall and slim, and you can hardly see that their hips are a little bit bigger. So you might think, oh, maybe they're thyroid type because they're taller. But no, they can be gonad type. So uh, it's way more than just looking at where people gain weight. So one of the questions to ask yourself, are you a morning person? Do you jump out of bed? Or does it take you a while to get going? So for that, some of my clients will tell me, oh yes, I'm a real morning person. But wait, given the chance, if you're able to take it easy on the weekend, are you really, you know, do you prefer to just kind of take it slowly and 
just give me my coffee and give me a minute here. Because some people, they have to be up and out you know, out the door to work very quickly, or they're getting kids out the door. So they think they're a morning type because they're up and go, go, go. But you have to think of if you're given the choice, would you sleep in till eight or nine on the weekend? Or would you still be up at six or earlier? The next question to ask is, do you prefer sweet or salty or both? So generally, we can divide the body types into sweet types, which would be pituitary and thyroid, or salty types, which would be gonad, which is also known as pear-shaped, or adrenal, also known as apple-shaped. So the sweet cravings tend to go to those two types and salty to the others. But of course, there's always some overlaps, right? Some people like the adrenal body type can tell me I crave both. I like sweet and salty. Or if someone has candida, for instance, they might crave a lot of sweets and that might overrule, you know, that they usually prefer salty. So again, there's a little overlap, but so we'll keep on going deeper and hopefully you'll be able to figure it out. What happens when you eat right for your body type? You lose the pounds, but more, more importantly, you will obtain optimal health because as you start eating right for your body type, the ailments go away like they did for me and so many of my clients. What I love when I've been working with my clients for three months or six months or, you know, we do check-ins with the memberships, the people in the membership, and we go back when they first started and, you know, oh, I had acid reflux. Oh, that's gone. You know, you had uh, heartburn. That's gone. Migraines, that's gone. Headaches are better. We're, so many things are gone just through the process of eating healthier and eating right for their body type. So it's absolutely thrilling for me to see this. Now, there are three body types for men, adrenal, pituitary, and thyroid. And there are four body types for women. So another big misconception that people have is about they think that the body type refers to some specific ailment that they might have. So someone who has hypothyroid might think, oh, therefore I am a thyroid type. Wrong. So you can have hypothyroid and be any of the body types. It has nothing to do with any um, glandular imbalance or glandular challenges that you have. The thing is, we all have a dominant gland which is one of these four here, adrenal, pituitary, thyroid. For the woman only, it's gonads, which has to do with the ovaries. Now, what happens is that gland is working harder than the others, and the others are trying to catch up. So it creates an imbalance. So when you eat the right foods at the right time for your body type, the dominant gland calms down, the other glands get stronger, and that creates a balance. All of my client, clients across the board, they say, I feel so good eating this way. It's like, yep. <laughs> they, because we're balancing the body and it does work. It's just so amazing. First thing to determine is if you have hypoglycemia. So we went over on this uh, on a past uh, webinar, but you have to ask yourself, how do you feel if a meal is delayed? If you answered trembling, shaky, dizzy, headache, um, foggy brain, can't think straight, super, super irritable. If you have any of those symptoms, you probably have hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar when you go too long without eating. And you need to start with more of a thyroid type plan first, which is protein, protein, protein. Every single meal, lots of protein protein snacks in between the meal to balance your blood sugar. And then you can, once you balance your blood sugar, you go on to your body type plan. All right, so let's get started. Woohoo! Start with the adrenal type. The adrenal type is generally strong body, strong shoulders, strong upper body. They can have a large chest. If the woman have a large chest, the men can be like a football player. Um, if they gain weight, it tends to be the belly. This picture doesn't really show much belly fat, but the belly can be big. 
Um, and it can be high for a lot of people, like right underneath the chest, or if gravity has come along, it might be a little lower. So the adrenal type is the strongest of all four body types. They are also social and jovial. The guy on the left-hand side would be a adrenal type. Usually they like their alcohol and that makes them feel even stronger. So they might gravitate towards alcohol, but some are introverted, of course, but others, they love, you know, being out. They love exchanging with others. And what else? They have, um, let's see, their energy is, as they're strong, their energy is also very strong. So their energy can be super balanced all day long. Even if they're tired, they get a second win. They keep on going. They can carry in all the groceries, move the furniture around, no problem. Very hardworking, very determined. I love working with some adrenal types because when they harness that determination, there's no stopping them. They're like really focused on getting to the goal. Um, ailments that they can be most prone to would revolve around the cardiovascular system. So later on, they might have high blood pressure, high cholesterol. They might have um, be tend to, to have strokes and things later in life. So it's essential for them to change their diet. Often they like fried or fatty foods. So reducing that is key, key, key for them. And also reducing their stress because they tend to internalize their stress. And I always say that I wish that more doctors knew more about the body types because we could save ourselves a whole lot of money in medical care if people knew this person might be most prone to cardiovascular issues. So let's make sure they're doing everything they can to make sure that that doesn't happen further down the road. So as I said, yes, their the cravings are meats. They can crave cold cuts, but some can be vegetarians. No cravings in foods. There's such a vast variety of things that people crave. Usually they're more salty, but they can like sweets as well. So as I said, the strongest of all four body types, they can be like a little slow to get going in the morning. Once they get going, nothing will stop them. They'll keep on going till pretty late at night. Richard lost uh, about 25 pounds. So you can see like the broad shoulders and you can see the belly there. So that's typical of the adrenal type when they have a few pounds to lose. Think um, Oprah. So Oprah's uh, adrenal type is super determined, strong, large chest, strong build. All right, next the thyroid type. So thyroid type, that's me. <laughs> I am blessed with um, my mother's body. I'm kind of a clone of my mother. And uh, when I gain weight, it tends to be around the middle, exactly there. Generally, thyroid types have long fingers, maybe large hands and feet. And they are very enterprising, sentimental, nervous. So as I mentioned before, before I learned how to eat right for my body type, I was on a hypoglycemic roller coaster. And believe me, when you are on that hypoglycemic roller coaster, your moods are falling right along with it, like really up and down. Like we're a little bit drama dra dramatic. So things can be, oh my God, it's the end of the world. And this didn't happen. You know, my emails are not being sent out with the wrong links and everything's falling apart. And then, okay, no, it's okay. And back up on top. So I have to be aware of that to keep myself a little bit more balanced as much as possible. We are the real morning types. So the thyroid type for me, early to bed, early to rise, definitely the case. By eight or nine o'clock, my brain is turning to mashed potatoes. There is no sense in trying to try something new or learn something else. I need to go to bed. Um, and uh, yeah, I love to get up early. It's my best time first thing in the morning. We like stimulants, right? So sweets and carbs and chocolate. A lot of thyroid types use a lot of coffee to spike themselves up and then that sends them on the up and down roller coaster. So cravings will be all around the carbs. 
The ailments that we're most prone to have to do with the nervous system, as I mentioned, the ups and downs, and the digestive system, which the two go hand in hand. So um, making sure that I eat slowly and calmly is very important for me. And just uh, everything that I can do, sometimes I need a little bit of uh, help with more digestive enzymes because maybe my stomach doesn't produce enough hydrochloric acid. So things like that are things that I need to be more aware of. As I said, we like this, this coffee and sweets to spike us back up. So the best thing for the thyroid type is, as I mentioned, protein, 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 keeping us more balanced all day long. Sorry, I forgot to mention the tips for the adrenal type. So let's just back up one little second. So for the adrenal types, if you think you're an adrenal type, as your metabolism is a little slow in the morning, it goes up during the day. So your healthy eating plan should follow that as well. So a smaller, lighter breakfast could be perfect for you. For some adrenal types, not all, but for some, if you have a big breakfast with like bacon and eggs and hash browns and all the things, a fried you know, meal, that can actually trigger you to be hungrier all day long. So it's interesting to note that some sometimes we like, you know, a big brunch, but even though it's a bigger breakfast, it can trigger us because it's not the right thing for our body type to be hungrier all day long. And as I've mentioned in the past, adrenal types, key, key, key is stress management in order for the pounds to be released. Now the gonad type, they tend to gain weight on the lower body. One key question that I ask some of my clients when I am working with them or they're joining the membership is, do you have cellulite? And for the gonad type or pear shape, they'll usually answer yes. And when I say since when, usually the answer might roll their eyes and say, oh, forever or since I was a teen or since I was young. So that's one key indication for the gonad type because there can be a lot of overlaps between the gonad type and the adrenal type. But the gonad type tends to have had cellulite a long time. The adrenal type, it might be more just oh, the past couple of years or so. Um, the gonad type can have more congestion, so they might have varicose veins. They are the motherly caregiving type. So across the board, almost all, because I have had, there's always an exception to the rule. I had, you know, a few clients say, no, no, I'm not that type. No, having kids wasn't important for me. But on the most part, the gonad type, their professions that will they will choose will be like a nurse or a teacher or a therapist or you know something that they're giving back to people and they usually have children that's very important for them if they can they will breastfeed a long time they might um, be overly giving to their children and overly giving to others. If they're not taking care of their children, they might be taking care of the, their pets or they're overly delivering at work or taking care of parents. And then they can neglect themselves. So they really need to learn how to place themselves back up, maybe not to the top of the list because that could be hard for them, but close to the top of the list so that they can take care of themselves as well. Cravings for the gonad type include butter, fatty foods, fried foods, and they might say, you're not going to take away my peanut butter and toast for breakfast, are you? That's my favorite thing. So sometimes these um, breakfasts with a lot of peanut butter can be a little bit too heavy for the gonad body type because they also tend to be a little slow in the morning. So some of them can eat only a fruit for breakfast and that's perfect for them. And that's way more than enough. And they'll be surprised. I had one client who like, no, I can't eat just a fruit. You know, I'll be hungry. I'll starve before lunch. But when she implemented the rest of her plan, eating a full balanced lunch, a really full balanced dinner, then each meal plays on the next, right? So she was satisfying herself well, and then the next day she could have just a fruit or just a small smoothie 
and that would keep her satisfied all the way to lunch, no problem at all. So the gonad type, this is Lesya. She dropped 36 pounds and uh, such a transformation for her. She uh, was a busy mom with four kids. I've talked about her in one of the past webinars. But when you eat right for your body type, everything changes. For the gonad type, you also, as I've mentioned in past webinars, you need to be aware of late night snacking and find other ways to get affection and fill your own cup first. The ailments that the gonad type is most prone to are things relating to the reproductive system. So they might have ovarian cysts or breast cysts or polycystic ovary syndrome. They might have problems with PMS, heavy periods. When they go through menopause, it might be challenging for them. So everything around the hormonal system needs to be balanced. And yes, there is so much you can do on a natural side to help alleviate that as well. Now, finally, the pituitary type, they tend to gain weight a little bit all over like baby fat. And um, so a lot of people see again the picture and they think, oh, you know, I gain weight a little bit all over. So I must be a pituitary type. But you must know that there are very, very few pituitary types. I've seen hardly any in my practice. It does exist, but it's rare. Uh, I think that more men are pituitary types, and usually most of my practice is women. I do have some men, but um, for the most part, women are, I think, more interested in uh, being healthier than some men. But the pituitary type is, yeah, it's very rare and some Asian woman might be pituitary type. So if you think because of this thing of gaining weight all over, you might be a pituitary type, chances are you would be more an adrenal type or a gonad type. So go back, check out the um, information about that. You can also check it out on my website, bodytypology.com. I've got really in-depth description of each of the body types. So if you're still struggling with figuring out your type, that might help you out. The pituitary type is a quiet, quiet thinking type. They might like chess or statistics. They might be mathematicians. They're really, really cerebral, really, really in their head. Their cravings go more towards dairy, ice cream, creamy sauces. What happens when we eat too much dairy? Often it increases mucus in the body because the body always wants to protect itself, right? I've helped so many clients who had simple food intolerances that you know were causing havoc, wreaking havoc in their body because of this maybe dairy or wheat or whatever the substance was. If you try eliminating that substance for five days a week, all your symptoms disappear, you have your answer. So the same thing for the pituitary types, all the dairy increases mucus in the body they can have a lot of respiratory system challenges like bronchitis or sinusitis or recurring colds and infections in the nose and sinuses because of the excess dairy. So all across the board, all my clients, when they start eating right for their body type, they can't believe how much more energy they have. Everyone says, my cravings have gone way down. They're not as hungry. That's another thing that everyone is so surprised. Like, I can't believe it. Every time I tried to lose weight, I was always hungry. But when you're nourishing your body with the right foods at the right time, you're not hungry anymore because you're eating at the right time. So um, just to, yeah, so for, for the pituitary type, even if there's not very many of them, I keep on forgetting to give you the tips for each type. The pituitary type is a big breakfast, medium lunch, and very small light dinner. That's perfect for them. So next, as I said, you will feel so much more balanced. You will feel so much better when you're eating right for your body type. So it, because it's balancing the body physically from the inside out. And as I said, your ailments can completely disappear. And the other thing is you will lose weight where you most want to. Fascinating again for me to see. I have my Clients and members take their measurements, and as the weeks go by, the gonad type, which tends to have a bigger lower body, the hips will lose so many inches 
and the adrenal type will lose off the weight or the upper body. So, and when so many of them have, you know, tried so many diets and nothing has worked because they haven't been eating right for their body type and they're not losing the weight where they want to, but with eating right for your body type, you do. This is another client. She said, not only did I lose an incredible 19 pounds and 10 inches, I helped her eliminate her emotional eating. And she said the entire process felt natural. A lot of people say that it just feels effortless. <laughs> I wish I had learned to eat this way decades ago. This is Patty. We'll see if we can bring up her. I think one of the hard things with working with my clients is saying goodbye to them when they achieve their goals. I think Patty had set out to lose 10 pounds, ended up losing over 21 pounds. She lives in Washington and uh, yeah, it's just so great. There's so many clients I work with, but not very many want to give video testimonials. There are some, again, on my website at bodytypology.com. Um, or most people don't want the before and after pictures. So um, yeah, I've had so much fun working with so many clients all around the world. So now if you're ready to get off the diet roller coaster and you want a community to support you, a safe place where you can talk about your struggles with others who really understand, if you want to get the results faster than you ever would on your own, I invite you to start thinking about joining the Body Typology membership. When you do so, you start with a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. We'll figure out your body type. We'll give you also four-week intensive. Each week, you'll be joining just the new members and myself to give you all the basics that you need. As I said, we'll figure out exactly what might be hindering your weight loss. You'll get your plan and the accountability and support you need to easily drop the pounds. You'll have the group support, the bi-monthly Zoom calls, all the coaching you want, ask, get all your questions answered, all my materials from 30 plus years, and ways to overcome your emotional triggers. So there's no thing, nothing that is left out of the program. If you act now, you will get my four-week, as I said, the Healthy for Life starting up for weekly sessions with the new members. You'll get my Natural Ways to Lose Weight ebook if you want, that's a digital copy. And you can get all the things you need with the one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. This is also my cookbook on the side. You get the digital copy of that. So I've been doing the membership for almost a year now, and I've implemented all the different things to make sure that you succeed. There are those of you that might say, you know what, group program looks interesting, but I really want to work one-on-one -on -one with you. Perfect. If you want to work one-on-one, -on -one, how that works is we do an initial consultation, an hour and a half. You get 12 weekly Zoom sessions. I include two RTT, which stands for Rapid Transformational Therapy Sessions, which is a huge, powerful modality to completely eliminate all your emotional triggers, works phenomenally. And this is $1,497. I am offering 25% off 
the regular price, but only until this Saturday, April 20th. This is how we think weight loss works. Like, we, I'm just going to do this and weight will come off. But how it actually works is more the diagram underneath. There are so many things out there to take us off course, which is why I work with my clients at least one-on-one, -on -one, three months. Sometimes people, if they have more weight to lose, they continue for six months. I have volume two, volume three, volume four for those that want to continue. But there's so many things that can hinder us that can, you know, is sometimes when we say, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm ready. And then the shit hits the fan, right? And maybe someone gets sick or you have a lot on your plate and you have a wedding to go to. And then, you know, there's all these parties coming up and summer and barbecues. So there's so many things for you to overcome. It's so much easier to do it with a person one-on-one -on -one or in a group. So weight loss is often thought of as a battle. Like, but if you're battling, like who are you battling? Usually yourself, right? So it's really about building new good habits gaining health rather than focusing on losing weight, right? It's all about gaining health. I'm all about that. We need to learn how to replace the negative self-talk with positive self-praise. And that's a big part of what we talk about. So what would it cost you if you did nothing about this at all? I don't know about you, but for me, by eating right for my body type, for by exercising, I am living my best life ever. I have never been happier. It took me a long time to find the man of my dreams, but I overcame so many obstacles along the way. And if I had stayed stuck in that, repeating the same mistakes over and over and over, I don't know. I mean, it's it's so much easier to get the help. I got a lot of help. I did a year of therapy. I did tons of workshops. I worked with different all kinds of people. I still do workshops and healing. It's it's my passion to help me continue to live the best life I can at any age. So if you think and you add up all the hours that it would take you to try to figure this out again on your own and go at it on your own, I think you deserve to take the fastest route to get there to be able to achieve your goals. And the big challenge is trying to manage this on top of all the other responsibilities that we have. Because life is an ongoing competition for your time and attention, right? But it doesn't have to be that way. When you make your goals a priority and you get what you need to then make them a reality, you can have success. Having someone there to help you instill those healthy habits, create your goals, and follow them each week by week is key. So you might have been trying to try this, get this done for a long time. And how many times has this goal been pushed to the back burner? It's time to stop that pattern and join today. You have the opportunity to do something about this right now. The doors are only open until Saturday, April 20th. You might say, why, why do you do that? <laughs> like, why can't we just join in anytime? The main thing is when the new members come in, I'm going to bring you up to speed. I'm going to give you three or four onboarding classes. I'm going to teach you everything. And that's a whole process I need to have time to do. So when you, you know, you join the membership, you're at the same level as everyone else. It's kind of when you go back to, you know, when you go to college, there's all these things that you learn at the beginning to help you have success long term. We do the exact same thing in the membership, which is why the doors open for a small amount of time and then they close again. So if you're ready to completely change this part of your life forever, join us now to create the guaranteed results that you're wanting. And your next action step can be either work with me one-on-one -on -one or join the Body Typology membership. So you will have the link if you're watching the replay. The link is below. I'm super excited for all those that have been joining us live and watching the replays. I hope you've learned a lot. And I really hope to see you on the inside, either in the membership or one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.